There's an update on the NCAA declining JMU and Jacksonville State and another team for bowl eligibility due to a rule that they've had. Bruce Brown in the back there. Pete Thamel has given a couple updates. What are the updates? Uh, Matt Brown, we were not able to read the entire article that you just sent into the group text. What are the updates? Is it, is it anything about James Madison being able to play in their championship game uh, from the NCAA? Um, yeah, so basically the Virginia Attorney General is just turning up the heat saying that they will sue the uh, NCAA and um, say that they're basically breaking anti-trust uh, laws by, you know, not letting them compete when they have qualified to do so and all that. Okay. Well, and then the NCAA is going to say, we got these right here. Yeah. Just pipe down. Huh? We got these rules right here. Yeah. See it? Here's your coach's signature. Here's your president's signature. Here's your athletic director's signature. But I do appreciate the state of Virginia saying, yeah. we're not standing for this because we all think it's dumb. We all think this one right here, these guys and girls, make just – Stupid decisions. Mm -hmm. Forever. Like, if they just made, like, sound... This feels like an easy one, though, right? Doesn't this feel like an easy one to overturn? Are they just... Is there a theory, hey, if we let this happen, then the floodgates will open and other people will try to take advantage of this? That was the rules back in the day, but now if people were to take advantage of that, it would be good for everybody. Like, back yeah. in the day, I think they were scared that people would just jump and try to go to D1 and blah, blah, blah. It's like, if you do that now, it's good for your university. The amount of money now that's available and everything, it's like, why not let people do it? Especially with them trying to meet them in the middle with the two-year transition. First year, we'll bump out the mediator year. We'll bump out the uh, purgatory year, pretty much. Mm -hmm. We'll just go right into D1 with our first year so we can maybe meet in the middle. And then the this is just like the Tez Walker decision. It's like, come, what, that was an easy one. Like, hey, just be a human. The other schools are saying, let this dude play. So it's not, you're, nobody is in favor of what you're doing. In this particular case, nobody is like, James Madison doesn't deserve it. It's like, just do, just be. How just many people reasonable. make this decision? Is there like a, a board? Is board, there a group? How many do they vote on it? Allegedly, there's like numerous committees that had, had to meet on this and a vote and then this and that. And it's like, hmm. I think they say that just so they can do this number here, you know, because then they so can just. Is there more to this that we don't know? Like that the NCAA hasn't put out or something? I don't think so. Honestly, I, I, in hmm. the Tez Walker situation, the NCAA acted like they didn't know everything that we all knew yeah. about the entire situation. They said, well, if UNC would have presented this to us like weeks ago, it's like it was all out. Everything. Was, mm -hmm. You don't have to be like the way you are. You know, we you've been hated forever because how stupid you are. You don't have to do that. There's a new generation in there. I think there's a new president. I think there's a new yeah. a new thing. It's like you can evolve with where the state of collegiate sport is right now and where the world is. You're allowed to do that, and they just choose not to do it. It's like. Okay, well, then we're just going to bury you for being dumb a lot more than what used to happen where nobody would say it. This is just nobody's happy about this decision, so why make it? It doesn't make – you're not serving anybody. And you're screwing over the student human athletes yeah. who you're supposed to be protecting. It's like I, none of it makes sense to me. I just don't get it. That's the part. It's like if they even had just the slightest bit of, like, wherewithal to understand, like, hey, we know what the public perception of the NCAA is. We know how everyone is going to react to this when it – ultimately comes out like why don't just for once we just kind of like go baby face and say hey you know what we're gonna ignore this we're gonna let them play this year like they just you you just need to have the smallest amount of self-awareness to know how this was gonna go if they just decided to go down the road that they always do but then you're still just saying like ah screw it we're gonna do it anyway and we're okay with everyone being pissed off and just continue to say all this stuff that they always say about us yeah and i think they're you know I don't want to judge the NCAA too much. Already have. Sure. But I don't well, want to judge them too much more because I don't know the humans behind the How scenes. How many are there? How many humans are there involved? Numerous committees. I, we went down there. They, they, mm. So one of the rookie obligations here whenever you're an Indianapolis Colt was to go see the NCAA facilities. And then we sit in a boardroom and I'm just like, I have a toothpick in my mouth. We just got done eating some food. It was ribs, I think. So sure. I had some shit in my mouth. Sure. Yeah, too. I sit down and this person from the NCAA comes in and says, that I need to take the toothpick out of my mouth if I want a job. And I said, I don't want a job. I'm here to punt <laughs> I, all I have yeah. a job. I'm here. So they were coming in to tell us about how we can maybe get a job <laughs> at the NCAA. They had no idea. They ran into Colin Clarity, went to Brown, who hated uh, the NCAA did like a research paper, I think. Uh, Donald Brown was not the biggest fan. Uh, Austin Colley, I don't think. Feely Mawal, I don't think they knew what. So it just became us in a verbal joust with a different committee from the NCAA. I don't think they did it ever again after our class. It's awesome. But it was, it was one of those things where I think they love that they have power. I think the, NCAA, oh, yeah. the people yeah. that are there love that yeah. they have power. And anytime they get an opportunity to, 
in there. Oh yeah. They're what gonna you, what you see here. They're gonna uphold it. It's like, well, everybody's just gonna hate you. So hope you continue to just do dumb stuff so we can all have something we can rally around. And that's that the NCAA makes dumb decisions for no reason at all. There's no positive at all in any of it. Shout out to the NCAA. Shout you guys have been doing it a long time. Right. Been doing that a long Congrats. time. That's right. Congrats. Selling out arenas to do the yeah. same old song. Mm -hmm. Consistent. Dumb decision, stupid decision, ineptitude at the highest level. See you tomorrow. Live from James Madison. Goodbye. Nailed it. Right on the queue. Hell yeah. You probably haven't been back down there, have you? Where is that? NCAA. Fuck them. No, I, I didn't want to. Yeah. I hated them Wait, in college. So what did we you guys always did that? They took all of the drafted guys to the – was it like a recruiting trip for them to try to – No, it was like um, – it was a part of like player development. Like uh, oh, okay. it was the same group. that you Remember you had to do like those classes with somebody? Yeah. You had to do those – I got you. Yeah, where you get to the NFL rookie. They probably want you to say, hey, can I come have an internship here in the offseason and all that? Yeah, they were trying to introduce us to something that – you know, because we're athletes and we're mm -hmm. in the city, maybe sure. introduce you to some people. It was not that way. It did not go that way. It did not. Well, if a guy way. walks in like that and tells you, like, and speaks from such, like, authority, that's just tough to do. Just Especially to young, to I don't young athletes, you too. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you. Shut up. <laughs> I don't want to work here. Yeah, like, we're, they meetings. made me come here. I did not choose. Could you and fucking imagine that? You had that one of those meetings inside West 56 early on like that. What's that? that? Which one? It depends. There was numerous ones in there. I mean, the very first one? Yeah, people telling... People walking in and just telling me something always goes really well. God. Always. Always. Why would we start a relationship like this? Why would... It was... I don't know if we were the right class to go in there either. You know what I mean? Because, like, at West Virginia, I watched Pat White and Steve Slayton. And I know Noel Devine came in afterwards and everything. But I watched Pat White and Steve Slayton build that entire place. Yeah. I mean, just, like, new stadium, new buildings downtown. And, obviously, the academia people aren't appreciative most times. I think in West Virginia they were, but like that whole stadium or the campus, more people wanted to go to school there because we're on national TV. Mm -hmm. Then they're hearing about the good times that we're having. So that, you know, a couple, maybe a group of humans started flooding in there. Like West Virginia just, it blew up while we were there. Oh, yeah. Lucky to be there. Basketball as well. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. the basketball team was doing their thing. First pit snoggle in the boys. Missoula. And they transitioned into yeah. Missoula and Joe Alexander and everything like that. Like, it was Deshaun Butler. It was a good It was a good time. Huggins. There. Bob Huggins. He came in afterwards. Yep. He came yeah. in right after. He was after you? Yeah. Right? Oh, you weren't there with him at all? No. As I was leaving, he was coming in there. But, like, yeah, I watched this all happen, and Pat White sold – I don't know, 400,000 number five jerseys, yeah, probably. At least. And he didn't, wasn't allowed to get anything for it. Steve, he didn't have the massive profitable NFL career. Steve Slayton, obviously he got drafted. He made some money. I'm happy for it. But he didn't get to see it. It's like mm -hmm. what Steve Slayton could have done at car dealerships his freshman, sophomore year around West Virginia. If he was like, it was like, so I was mostly pissed at the NCAA because I felt like they were fucking over a couple of my friends mm -hmm. like through this entire thing. And then you start to see hearing like yeah this is how it is it's like well it shouldn't be i think it's stupid but i think i'm not the only athlete that's ever had that idea mm -hmm. i'm not the only one that's thought that but in that meeting there was six or seven of us that all felt the same exact way and it was just a firing squad of that ncaa coming in oh this committee is for eligibility so what do we do on a daily basis we look into da, 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 da. do you do anything to help anybody or anything well, yeah, we do. We think we do. In and out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another group comes in. Of course. Oh, so you're the one who robbed Pat the most. You're the amateurism. You created that. Is that you're the one? Well, no, that's our division, though. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Donald Brown, 31 jerseys up there in Connecticut. This mm -hmm. guy became yeah. a fucking Heisman candidate in, uh, in, in UConn. You know, the whole thing. Household name. You just kind of, thank you. Thank you, guys. Then the next one comes in. <laughs> so it's not a good relationship. So I'm not the right guy. Like, there's some things popping off, maybe, you know, this weekend where, uh, the NCAA could be a part of the conversation. Yeah. And normally I'm not a bad person to go in and do a, hey, what do we need to you yeah, know, get this done? What do we need to, how do we, you know, I'm not mm. a bad person for that. Normally I've been uh, pretty successful at that particular thing. The NCAA is not the group though where uh, <laughs> I'm the, uh, no. I'm not the right guy to sit in there. I don't think I'm the right play. guy. Yeah. I've said some things publicly about how dumb they are and they prove themselves to be mm -hmm. the game. Yeah, right. Yeah. Literally all the time. This is another dumb one. Just doesn't make any sense to me. Let's get to a break. Especially like the thought of, like, hey, everyone's gonna is gonna open up the floodgates. Like, you think every team can go to Division One football and be undefeated yeah. in Week Ten? Yeah. Like, are you giving are you shitting me? Yeah, dude. It. Yeah. You gotta remember though. Don't say it. 
Don't say it, Pat. Don't do it. A lot of cowards in positions. Oh. Okay. Who are just trying to cover their ass, get by. A lot of money's been made doing this the entire time. We're just going to do this. What's my job? Come up. Come to work. Do this. Mm -hmm. It's not doing anything. Mm. How do I not get fired? And how do I make myself look as good as I can? Just to the ball? And not even look as good as I can. Maybe don't, they don't even notice me. Yeah. Just let yeah, me just, yeah. you know, just kind of skirt through. There's a lot of those people in positions of power right now. So whenever they get like presented an idea, maybe like, hey, you can work around. It's like, what? No, I don't do that. I show up, we do this, mm -hmm. and I do that. It's like those people, I think, will inevitably dissipate in a lot of businesses, including the NCAA and others. And it's like when that happens, we'll look back on all this shit and just be like, how dumb were they? Yeah. So, so, so dumb. Begs the question, you know, is the organization broken? broken. Agreed. Yeah. Let's get to a break. Maybe. Hour three, we got a good one. Cody Schrader's coming on from yeah. Zoom. Ooh. There's a guy. I assume the NCAA is. They tried to fuck him. So, somehow. <laughs> <a> point. Somehow. <laughs> I don't know how, but I assume somewhere in there. To find a way to get those yards taken off the record book. For something. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, something. He did something. Of course. Who knows when or how. Nope. When he was at Truman State, do you know this guy actually got a hamburger from somebody? Ooh. I was like, whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Spend him. Take him out of the yeah. game. Well, they could still do that. There's a couple games left in the season. Sure. So. Yeah. Let's not open any. Yeah. Wait, Let's not ask him about anything that happened at Truman State. Yeah. Harbaugh got two games for a burger. Three. Yeah. Very. Yes. Oh, that three. was self-imposed. Self self yeah, that was Five. Michigan. That was self-imposed. They were going to give it. So, actually. So, maybe they will bend for you. Well, well, actually. So, Michigan imposed the penalty on Harbaugh. The Big Ten imposed a penalty on Harbaugh. The NCAA hasn't weighed in yet. No, yeah. and they will. And we assume they're going to find a way to make this whole thing about them. Yeah. And uh, that might not come until 2027, 2028. Sure. But it's coming. Oh, yeah. We know that. If we know anything about the NCAA. They will never miss an opportunity to make it about themselves one last time. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. They always come. They certainly do. And they come harder. Every single time. They just come later. Yeah, also right. true.